Okay. This conference will now be recorded. Okay. Today we are going to see data driven framework. Why we are going with data driven framework? In Selenium total, how many frameworks we have? Uh, Plain object. Yeah, page update it's we can been... use. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that is that is testing framework coming to frameworks. Okay. These are the frameworks data driven or keyword driven. Data driven. Hybrid next page update model that is combination we can use with BDD. Yes, yeah, good. That is one design pattern. Page update model is one design pattern. Okay, the object model is design pattern. You can use normally or you can use combination with BDD. Okay. Already we had seen about BDD framework. Now we are going to see what is the data driven framework, keyword driven framework on hybrid. Okay. This is data driven framework. If you open Excel sheet. This is master suit where we can maintain individual modules. Open your system editor. Okay, if you see here, suppose in application, if you take Flipkart application, how many modules are there? Mobiles, fashion, electronics, home, all these, these are modules, right? What I will do, I will go to Excel sheet. I will create like this. Mobiles. Flipkart mobile. This is one module. Run mode, whether I want to execute this module or not, I can view. If I want to execute this, I, I can give yes. I don't want to execute. I can give this run mode as no. Like this, I will define all modules here. Okay. Fashion. It's got fashion. So these two modules I want to execute. Remaining I will keep this. Okay. Design this is table hey. 
next coming to this module mobile is one module right i am going to create one excel workbook here already i am having existing one let me take this men's copy paste here i will change this name as mobile next another module fashion same way i will do means copy existing module you take and copy paste fashion okay let me delete this old one electronics i don't want fashion we means also i am going to delete okay these two modules whatever we created right even this one also you can delete not the question now we have two modules open this fashion inside this again we are having test case suppose under this module if you have 100 test cases you need to define like this test case one okay here description here run mode suppose if you want to execute this test case you can give this like this you can define number of test cases available in that module for the test case name and run that's it yeah test case name description run mode like this here run more if you want to execute all test cases you can give yes next suppose i am having test data for this test case one okay example what i can do if test case one is having test data i need to create one sheet with same name tc1 like this then here i can give username example you can take login So in real world, this uh, test data is also used and BDD is also used, right? Both are used. In coming to BDD, we have feature files, right? Yeah, we can use. But again, river maintaining in Excel sheets. BDD mostly will use in Cucumber files. No, no. Uh, I mean, my question was, uh, yeah, I mean, in real world, I mean, still both Cucumber framework and this framework, data driven, still exist, right? Or data yes. driven is going away and only cucumber is more. No, no. Still data driven is there. Some applications see we need to test with a lot of test data. They need data driven framework. Okay. If you take an insurance application or any banking application, okay. There we mm -hmm. need to create a lot of forms we have, right? Insurance. If you take insurance application, uh -huh. there you will get Hundred fields, right? You need to feed yeah. data from Excel sheet. Okay. If you want to create any couple of insurance policies, then you can go with 
a data driven payment okay. then coming to banking okay if you want to register users you want to check with 100 users then you can go with excel sheet here you can give 100 rows then your test case will execute for 100 times hmm. okay number of rows equal to number of iterations that's why still people are using data driven framework even hybrid driven framework also using hybrid driven this one Yeah, means uh, we use both data-driven and cucumber. No, no. Here, keyword-driven means only will drive keywords from Excel sheets. Data-driven. I will show you. Okay, what is this difference? Okay. Keyword-driven plus data. That is hybrid. I will show you example how it how this keyword driven framework will be but no one is using keyword driven framework because it won't support for data driven for small uh, to take in a small project okay Okay, here will be test cases. Test case ID. This one test case name. This one description. Here keywords here instead of test cases we'll do one thing test steps Test step description. Then keywords, objects. Then data. Test case ID. Generally, this is keyword driven framework. Test case ID it will be TC underscore one zero one. Even if you want, you can give test case name here. login or verify user login this is our test case name test case id will be tc101 
टेस्ट स्टेप्स टी एस जीरो वन दिस इज माई टेस्ट स्टेप डिस्क्रिप्शन यू कैन गिव ओपन ब्राउजर की वर्ड विल बी ओपन दिस इज अवर मेथड नेम will create reusable methods right open browser in page space yeah we need to call here for this we which browser you want to open you can give here here we don't have any objects suppose i want to open chrome browser i can give it here same copy and paste thing Here test case are the same. Test step will be two. Here enter URL. Here keyword will be launch URL. Whatever you are giving, right? Result method you need to give like this. object we don't have any object if you want you can pass url from here http google.com okay this is our url next enter username everything it will come here whatever code we are writing right yeah yeah completely will define in excel sheet here keyword will be reusable method set text you need to call which object user underscore name here only one time we are going to send the username that is ravi123 set password this one enter password set text again like this whatever reusable methods we have we need to call this will be used for small projects okay everything we need to work in excel sheet click login button we don't have any test data here then close browser can call close command again second test case user registration 
if anybody asking whether you can able to explain this what is keyword driven framework again open browser chrome then we'll we need to define like this test cases this is test case name test case id then how many steps you have for that respect to test case then description keywords if you have any object to that respective keyword you can give it mm -hmm. okay. now you got idea right what is keyword driven framework yeah uh, yeah but then how we will write the same thing like this is the excel sheet how we will connect the excel sheet with the test case yeah there you have logic okay we need to read this one columns okay first we need to read these columns everything then you will do for loop that will be predefined no need to worry only thing you need to know for this test step you need to call this reusable method Suppose select drop down, you have a means you need to call that function. Select drop down by ID by index. We have right index, or you can call text area. Only thing you need to know perform all server. Okay. For that respective object, which reusable method you need to call? That's it. This will be about keyword driven framework. Coming to hybrid driven framework, only simple difference here is instead of hard coding here text data, it will come from here. Give test case name. Suppose if you are going to give for login, okay. Create seat name. This is the only logic you need to implement. Username, password. The username the V1 password it will come here and it will pick data from here. If you are defining four rows, it will execute for four times your test case. Here you are going to pass the column name okay you need to map this same you need to view test case name on here same then only it will come on pick here okay just yeah. represent that respective column name this is difference between hybrid driven and keyword driven coming to data driven only test data will pass here from excel sheet that's it entire logic will be here only okay this is data driven framework we have commons already we know right what is text base that means base page load project config properties load object properties in this framework i designed okay in such a way that we can maintain objects in single file but um, people are going okay rarely this combination 
let me show you resources with your help already you know about this config properties browser url yeah. this one you know okay coming to object repository i am passing objects from here instead of page object model this is old one i designed six years before this framework i went to one client location and their requirement is we need to maintain these objects in one centralized location like qtp you know qtp also we have this feature yeah, yeah. in we qtp have... we had that object repository yeah same way like they want i designed like this here we can maintain all project related objects username password registration only thing based on this symbol we are going to split the string index 0 we have locator type here we have locator value locator type uh, can you also show how did you use this yeah sure test base here i created one method like this get get element based on this symbol we need to split this is locator right uh, first it's yeah locator and then index zero i am having yeah. locator type okay. locator value then i am going to write condition locator type equal ignore case class name then by dot class name equal to locator value if else condition how many combinations eight right eight methods i created like this we'll see if, we'll see. if you want you can use switch case also hmm. instead of if else you can go with switch case also you can use this is simple method okay because we don't have page objects right if you are not writing this method you need to create eight methods for just clicking itself then set text eight methods because but based on id we need to set text based on id we need to click eight separate methods we need to write to avoid that i am going to call this single method in reusable methods i am implementing here Suppose I want to enter text or set text, both are same. First, I will get web element by using get element method. From where I am reading that object, I am reading from object repository like this. Simple way. Here, entire logic will be will go in be here in this method. It will check class name, ID link text then it will return web element uh, i will explain you in detail okay later you just try yeah. to understand this is about text based on reusable methods reusable methods uh, what we did design right same thing instead of base space i separated this into different class we can highlight we can take screenshot then we can click even i integrated extent reports here but it is not working that's why i removed we have all the usual methods verify text take screenshot next then here module wise we are maintaining one package suppose in module one i am having 100 test cases for each and every module i am having this common class where i can check suit run mode okay this is here we need to check first we are checking right whether this module is executable or not then we are going test case if that module is run executable then go here test case 
acute this test case is executable or not so two ways we are controlling right one is module another one test case this logic you can see here in this class mm -hmm. test then, uh, is there. we can create we can use it just in test and right exclude include that also we can do but this is not test yeah, right? that, that one also mm -hmm. there this is combination. This is purely test ng framework. See. Two ways we can control. One is Excel, another one test ng. This is advanced framework. At the time I designed for them. Okay. Two ways we can control. One is testng.xml. Another way we can define run mode in Excel sheets. Module wise we have control. Test case wise we have control. But in coming to testng, module wise we don't have control, right? Only test case wise we have control. Right. If it is big application, uh, there they are having twenty thousand manual test cases. It's a huge application. Yeah, then That's we need more. Uh, yeah, module wise, they asked. Okay. In text detail, we have a couple of methods like this. Here, first method is verify module is executable or not. Here we need to pass two arguments Excel, then suit name. Which suit name we want to check? These two. This is Excel. That we have one util class. If you go here, package, utils package, Excel helper is there to handle. Uh, Excel operations we are having this class here we have a lot of methods like get row count get cell data so this is what you have written or we have taken it somewhere and then we no. are using it no I downloaded it from Google okay. and we can use then it I right integrate. yeah any framework we can integrate this already they they have written methods okay if you want to create sheet you can create sheet you can create a hyperlink everything it will work only thing you need to know where we need to call this method that's it get cell row number all methods are predefined if you want to write data in excel sheet you can use this method All methods are predefined. Only thing you need to know where you can call these methods. Coming no. to test util, mm -hmm. see, I am getting rows. Sheet name is test suit. Like this. I am doing for loop. How many rows are there? I am doing for loop. Then I am getting module name. I am checking run mode. get cell data i am passing this module name then i am storing in string if suit dot equals suit name then i am comparing these two here also i am writing one logic okay whatever we are defending right and this excel suit name this one first time if you are trying a little bit confusing master suit we are keeping right run mode for all modules here I am checking names are both equal then check this run mode executable X here Excel workbook name if you are defining fashion one inside this you are giving fashion means it won't execute whatever name you are giving defining here same thing you need to define here 
that's why I'm checking suit dot suit equals suit name this condition same way if you see test case also same thing I'm checking verify test case executable then excel dot test cases test case name equal ignore case test case name then it will execute like this suit wise we have uh, this run mode then as well as test case wise then this one get data it will get test data especially for getting test data this method we are using same thing we will pass to data provider through data provider only we need to pass right in testng.xml each and every class here we are maintaining each test case as single class file if you are having 100 test cases you, you need to define 100 classes and also whatever class name here you are giving you need to pass same thing in excel sheet like this test case name should be same here test case name and here test case name will be same then only it will pick test data from here okay any doubts up to here mm, so far good yeah data provider each and every test case we are defining only thing we can change Again, in base space, we have one more thing. This Excel like this. Excel helper. You need to initialize all master suit Excel. Then you are creating module one, right? Which one we created? Fashion. Then you need to give and here. Whenever you are creating new module, you need to define here. Can give fashion shoot Excel. Another one is there that is mobile. Whenever you are creating module, you need to define like this. Then only you can, it will identify respective module. This is good one. You can implement. Uh, you can automate use application because it is good one. You can maintain objects here. Then Excel. We can read data from excel sheet everything is simple we will try to automate couple of test cases then only you will understand clearly yeah <laughs> yeah yeah if you are joining any company okay main thing they will explain like this only what is the framework skeleton then what are the classes methods you we have everything they will explain in high level excel helper
will try to automate a couple of test cases, then you will get the idea. Tester reports. Earlier, I long ago I integrated this extent reports. Now, again, I need to change this version is changed for extent reports. I need to reconfigure that. Okay, I will save this framework. You just go through. Okay, we'll automate a couple of test cases. Thursday will connect. Mm, not Thursday, Friday morning. Okay. Friday morning. Okay. So yeah. my Thursday. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I will, I will share this framework. Selenium data driven. You can say that um, I'm having ability to build framework from scratch. Okay. I'm good in designing data driven framework. If they are asking to implement in their organization after joining, already you have framework. Only thing you need to change these packages names. That's it. Okay. Okay. Yeah, see you, bye.